Hiya! We've got some maple sausage skillet for our series dinners for one or two. Guys, I think you're going to be over the moon for this one. I know I say that a lot, but man, this is really, really good. Welcome back to In the Kitchen with Gabby. Let's get cooking. All right, our third recipe in our dinners for one or two series is a maple sausage skillet. This is all in one skillet. I think it's going to be super easy and really, really delicious. So first thing I've done is heated up some avocado oil in my skillet here, and I am using chicken apple sausage. Now you can use kielbasa or Polish or whatever sausage you want. You just want it to be a fully cooked sausage. And this is an all natural chicken apple sausage that is a smoked chicken sausage and it's obviously so that i can eat it because of my allergy but if you've ever tried it this is really really delicious sausage you can get it at walmart i believe meyer and kroger both carry it as well but it is really really good and they have different flavors too so all right so we're going to drop this in our pan and it is fully cooked obviously so we're not cooking it we're just browning it so we just want to saute that around in our pan until it's nice and toasty and you can see I've already prepped all of my veggies here so I've got some celery some fresh mushrooms fresh broccoli sliced sweet onion and sliced green pepper all of that's going to go in and then I've got some pepper and it wouldn't be called maple sausage skillet without a little maple syrup so we've got some maple syrup to go in as well so I think this is going to go pretty quick and it already smells delicious the sausage has like little bits of apple in it, like literally little pieces of apple, and it is so, so good. Yeah, that's starting to saute and get a little brown. I'm gonna bring you over here a little bit closer. There we go. Now, if you were using um, Polish sausage or some other kind of pork sausage, you probably wouldn't need as much avocado oil. I used about a tablespoon and a half. The recipe calls for a teaspoon because most of those meats are pretty fatty, so you wouldn't need so much of the oil. But if you're gonna use the chicken apple sausage, you probably wanna do about a tablespoon and a half of the avocado oil. And I had somebody ask me the other day if I use avocado oil or olive oil, which one I like better. It really just depends on what I'm making. Um, if I'm using olive oil in an Italian dish or my focaccia bread or something like that, definitely olive oil extra virgin all the way um, but if I'm doing something like this and I don't want to add that olive flavor then I go ahead and use the avocado um, it doesn't add any flavor at all and it also has a high heat point so you can cook it and not worry about the burning so that helps all right so my sausage is starting to get a little toasty on the sides I'm just gonna keep cooking this around and when we are ready to throw the veggies in I'll come back and we'll do it together I'll be right back all right, that took just a couple of minutes, and you do want to take your time because you can see, see how nice and browned those are? You want to make sure that that gets nice and brown on both sides of the slices. So just take your time, kind of flip them around a couple of times, and then they will all eventually get nice and caramelized like that. See how, whoops, where am I at? Here we go. See how pretty that is? Yeah, those look great. All right, so let's get our veggies in. We're not taking the sausage out. We're leaving the sausage in there, but I am going to kind of push it to the sides just a little bit and get my get my veggies in on the bottom. Actually, you know what? Because that meat is not very oily, I'm going to add just a little bit more avocado oil, about another tablespoon to the bottom of that pan, and then we'll get our veggies in there. Ooh, that smell that hits you as soon as it hits the pan you can smell it all right and now we're just going to cook this around until those veggies are crisp tender you want them to still have a little bite to them Wow, that smells good. You get some cracked pepper on there. Now I am not going to put a lid on this because I don't want those veggies to sweat. I want them to fry or saute. If you put a lid on it, that's, that steam is going to cause the veggies to sweat and they're not going to get 
crispy, like that crisp tender that I said. You want them to have a nice crisp tender texture to them when you bite into them. And if you sweat them to death, <laughs> they're going to get mushy. They won't be the, the right tenderness or the right texture that you're looking for. Those veggies are starting to release a little bit of their juices in there too. So that's helping to, to cook them down. Yeah, those celery ribs are starting to get a little toasted. Oh my goodness, it smells good. And you want that broccoli to stay that nice bright green. If you cook it too much, you cook all the nutrients out of it. So you really want to kind of just get it to that nice crisp tender. I know I keep saying that, but that crisp tender texture is what you're going for. And I did use, it only calls for half a pound of the sausage. I used just a little bit over half a pound. I used 12 ounces. So it was just one extra link um, in the package. But Dale likes a lot of protein. So that's why I went ahead and added some extra. But everything else I added, I did it per the written recipe. And again, this recipe is from Taste of Home and Dottie Parlson from Arkansas submitted the recipe. So thank you, Miss Dottie, for this recipe. I'm excited to taste it. It sure does smell good. All right, I think we are I think we are there, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and add the maple syrup. Now this is just two tablespoons of organic maple syrup. Oh my, I can smell that. Oh goodness, you guys. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be good. And I did go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of salt on here. Just a little bit, I didn't put much. Just a little bit. My gut was telling me it was gonna need just a little bit of salt, so I did that. But you can leave it out if you want to. All right, I think we are there. I went ahead and turned my heat off. And I have some rice. Oh, let me get my lid off. There we go. Got some rice back here, so we're going to serve this over some rice. I made extra rice because we're going to have some rice with our lunch tomorrow. I'll show it to you. There it is. While that's cooling off for just a minute, I'm going to make some of Dale's famous skillet toast in my iron skillet here. I already have my bread buttered, so we are ready to go. Just gonna get this skillet good and hot. But I got my skillet toast done. Got the rice and the skillet meal. Let's give this a taste. I'm really excited. So we're gonna get a little rice, some meat, and some veggies. Look at that. Thank you, Lord, for this food. Amen. Mm. Oh my goodness, that's good. It tastes exactly like I thought it would. Just a slight hint of sweetness because of that maple syrup. Those veggies are perfect. I'm going to get a bite with the mushroom. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. You guys are going to love this. I'm telling you. I really hope you make it. And when you do, make sure you post a picture. I love to see what's cooking in your kitchen. And you know, in our group, Cooking With, in the Kitchen with Tabby, I always use your photos for the banners. And I love switching that out, changing that out with new photos of things that you have made in your kitchen. I love it so much. I love it. All right. Thanks for coming into my kitchen today, hanging out with me, spending some time. I love having you here. Cooking is so much more fun when you're with me in the kitchen. All right, guys. Remember, this recipe and all of my other recipes will be found on my website, inthekitchenwithtabby.com. Just click on recipes and you'll see the whole list there. It's a blog and you will see recipe after recipe. There's a little search bar on the side. So if you're looking for something specific, you can click in that search bar and type that in and it'll bring up, if I have a recipe, it'll bring it up. Also, please remember, you can pre-order my cookbook, Pure and Sweet Recipes in the Kitchen with Tabby. 
coming out later this month and I will get those signed and right back out to you. I appreciate everybody who has already pre-ordered. You guys are sure to get one. I have limited quantities. I didn't order a huge number of them because I just didn't know how it was going to go. So make sure you get your order in so that you get your recipes and you get your cookbook in time for your holiday baking. It's full of all kinds of candies and cookies and treats and cakes and just all kinds of good stuff for holiday baking. All right, friend, that's all I've got for you. I can't wait till you come back next time and we'll cook something else up that's a lot of fun. All right, friend, I love you. God loves you even more than I do. Please don't forget that. Also, he is the unseen guest at every dinner table and the silent listener at every conversation. So just make sure those words coming out of your mouth are pure and sweet like honey, that you're lifting each other up and loving on each other and just shining your light bright because that's what we're called to do. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.